Tess and Dan here. Today we are going to take you on a tour of the complete ship of Harmony of the Seas. Um, we're going to give you some tips and tricks. Pro and, tips even. Yes, pro tips. Uh, and just talk about some stuff that we wish we would have known before we went on the, the cruise. So if you guys like this, make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button so Thumbs we can up. continue making some awesome content for you. Yeah, so here we go. Let's do it. Yeah. So as you can see here, that's the sign Harmony of the Seas and you've got a beautiful balcony looking over. And right now we're gonna start you on the top ship. Um, so right now you're seeing the Flow Rider. This is really where you can come up in the daytime when you're probably at sea and have a really fun time on the Flow Rider and either boogie board or stand up. And right around from there, this is one of my favorite spots. It's the called abyss. the Abyss. It's this huge slide that you can go on starting from the top of the ship and you go all the way down and it kind of juts out over the ocean. It's kind of scary when you're up there looking down at it, but I definitely recommend doing the Abyss. You have to sign a waiver, right? Yeah, yeah, you definitely so do. So make sure you sign the waiver and then you'll be able to have I mean, look at that view. I'm getting scared just looking at it. <laughs> nice thing is it's a dry slide, so you don't need to have a swimsuit on or anything. And you do need to wear pants though. You pants can't wear a dress. and shoes, closed toed shoes, I and believe. And a short sleeve shirt. Yeah. So this part of the flow rider is way more fun than the standing up boogie board one. I did a better job at that one than the stand up surfing yeah. one. Yeah, so now moving down, um, this is one of the opposite side from where we started. Um, as you can see on this side, um, yeah, looking up at the smokestacks. That's the zip line. And so you ride from one side to the other and you completely cross the bottom of the ship. So it's, yeah, it's a long way down. And that's it's crazy. You get kind yeah. of a cool view and people who are staying in those balconies can see people going on the zip line. I think it's fun. It's really fun. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of short, you know, but it's fun. Yeah. Definitely. Um, there's a basketball court. There's always sports going on. Um, oh, remember that one time we saw them playing um, dodgeball? Intense dodgeball. Yeah, it was. It I'm was glad I wasn't intense. in there. We, we're not dodgeball people, but if you're into dodgeball, they have it. Like, you name it, this cruise ship yeah. has it. Um, so right here, I mean, basically everywhere you're going to see lounge chairs. You're always going to find a spot to sit down and enjoy the sun, no matter what. There's, there's too many spots to sit down um, and you'll enjoy that. So coming up here on the left, this is really one of the first food courts that's um, in the sports area, I think is what they call this. And um, here they serve hot dogs, hamburgers, french fries. The fries are really yummy. I don't know what they do to the fries, but that's kind of like the most addictive place. But you come in here, they always have hand sanitizer ready for you. So you sanitize your hands and then you go through the line. And in the morning, it's actually some breakfast. They have delicious hash yeah. browns always. I oh, think, those hash browns are so good. Yeah, they're really good. Just like standard things, scrambled eggs, hash, scrambled eggs, hash browns, um, pancakes. Um, just a small little breakfast menu, but it's pretty good. So going back here, this is actually, um, I've actually never been inside this area, but this is kind of the exclusive teenager, I guess tween area. Um, they have ping pong, foosball outside. But if you go in through these doors, um, as you'll see right here on the right, that's kind of the teenager zone where those tweens and teens can hang out and kind of have their own space, um, supervised of course. And um, coming up around, this is where we started once again. Um, so opposite from the sports court, as you see over there, um, this, and this is also where the you zip line ends. the zip line, yep. Yep, and um, mini golf course. This course is, is great, it's fun. You kind of get the rentals for the putts and lots of fun ways to kind of get the mini golf going on yeah our kids and i had a great time doing this little yeah. course it was really fun yeah it's actually it's actually quite entertaining and and this is something you can do it's not like always super busy you'll be able to find times when you can do this definitely and also like i mean look at the view playing mini golf on a cruise ship it's awesome all right shaded spots yeah so that's really the the back half of the ship uh, are those flow riders on either end, mini golf and the sports bar, uh, sorry, the sports and arena and the eating area. What's that called? The Riptide Bar? Something like that. Wipeout Cafe, I think, yeah, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Riptide Bar sounds pretty good. Something like that. All right, so anyway, so here, um, once again, you'll see lots of lounge chairs, um, lots of places to sit and just enjoy it. This is shaded, which is nice, if that's your thing. Okay, so on the ship, they have how many different pools? It's We should know this. Three. <laughs> no, way more than... I think, I think there's like four at least. Okay. Four. Way more than three. Mm, yeah, four pools. And Okay, but no, the most thing they have is hot tubs. I think oh, yeah, they have like way more hot tubs. Way more hot tubs than actual pools. 
All right, so this is our first pool. I think this is, let's see, is this our favorite one? This is no. more, this is the deep one. We don't spend as much time in this one. I think this is the party pool, right? Yeah. They have one pool that is designated like party time. They always play the games. I think they had like- Oh, that's the smoking section. Yes. So if you look at those orange chairs, that's the smoking section. That's why we didn't hang out at this section as much. No. Because that's where the only place on the ship where people are allowed to smoke and boy, do they smoke. Yes, they do. It's like a little smoking club. If you're into smoking, cool. If not, just don't walk down that side of the ship and you'll be fine and you won't smell it. <laughs> There's one of the hot tubs. Like you said, you'll find hot tubs everywhere on this on this level. Um, they're spacious. There's always room in the hot tubs. They're great. Yeah. As you can see, those are the ashtrays. You can probably see someone smoking a cigar there. Oh, getting started early. Yep. So really, we always went on the other side of the ship to access the back. Just, I don't know, we're against smoking. We have little kids, so I think we have a good reason to. Yeah, for sure. So towel right here, you can drop your towel off and pick it up. They scan your card. That little bar we passed always has water. So if you're thirsty, you can grab water there. Or if you have the drink package, you know, stock up on some drinks. True. We were too cheap for that. But it's actually a pretty good deal if you get it. Yeah, my sister and mom got the soda package. Yes. We're just also not pop drinkers, but um, a lot of people are and they get this package and it's awesome. I think they also have one for alcohol as well. Oh yeah, they have, they have, I mean, they have several different yeah. packages. So this is another fun pool to hang out at. No, um, this was the party pool. Whoops, yeah. I was wrong. This, this one, one has this is a little bit games. louder, yeah, games and stuff. And it, it ends really where the um, where the ride for the slides end right here. Mm -hmm. So those are the two racing slides. Um, I think the green, I think the blue one's faster. The blue one, no, I thought the yellow one. I don't know, I, I always beat you though. <laughs> <laughs> regardless of but what anyway, I went these on. slides are fun definitely go um if you go on a port day the lines are going to There's be shorter no lines, basically. obviously either that or at the end before they close at seven yes. if you go like around 6 30 you're going to be able to go like twice super in the morning or yeah at the end because everyone's at dinner uh hot so tub this is the hot tub that um, my mom or kids will usually wait for us you know while we kind of go down alone and mm -hmm. um enjoy the slides yeah, but the one that I really like is this toilet bowl one. So that's the third slide. Yes, so there's uh, three big giant yes. slides. And this is the line, this is where you get on, check the height, you know, I think you have to be at 48 inches it looks like. Yep. And there's one line you go up and you can take any three of those slides down. Mm -hmm. Two of the slides will end up on the right side and the other um, toilet bowl slide you're talking about ends up on the other side. Yes, uh, the blue and yellow slide typically have a shorter line. Everyone wants to wait for the toilet. It's pretty fun. So a uh, fun thing we do on the toilet bowl ride is to count how many times you can spin around on it. Um, I think I have the record for what, three times? Yeah, you, you went, I mean, at least I, I've seen <laughs> people do like five times. No. And, yeah, I think someone that day, so I was talking to the guy. Um, so anyway, beautiful view. This is what I love about the ship is the whole like center half of the ship is carved out. Um, so this is Central Park. We'll take you through that a little bit later. That's one of my favorite places. I think I really think so. Central Park. It's amazing. If you can get a bal balcony view there, you'll love it. I mean, obviously the ocean views. Real gorgeous, trees and stuff. It's, oh, it's yeah, beautiful. I mean, there's a park on the ship. It's crazy. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, so this is where the slide ends up for the, the toilet bowl slide that Tess was saying. It goes around in circles and ends up here. It's a fun slide. We like that one. Yeah. All right, so this is the pool we probably hung out the most. It's, I call Definitely. it the beach pool. Mm -hmm. So this is opposite the smoking site, so no smoking on the side. Yes, you're far from the smokers. The great thing about this 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 uh, pool is that it kind of has like this little beach here, as you can see this this area, and like the, the chairs actually sit in it, so you can kind of put your hands and your, your feet in there. And yeah, and at different tide uh, times of the day, the tide actually like comes up. The tide, it's not really a tide, but yeah, the water comes up and it goes back in, just like um, the ocean. So if you're lounging in the sun and you're sitting in one of these chairs, you can kind of splash yourself, get a little bit cool. It's great, but just don't put your shoes there yes. because you might lose them. <laughs> like they'll slip away in the water. Yeah. So we spent a lot of time in this hot tub as well. Another hot tub, I mean, I'm telling you, they're everywhere. Yes, they are. Another place where you can get water, which is nice. And you'll see these um, these stairs on the left. Those go up to the 16th floor, that's the top floor. And it's just basically a sun deck. Yes, there's always lounge chairs available on the, the very, very tippy top. All right, this is our other area we spent a lot of time in, having little kids. Mm -hmm. This is the kids area. Um, for this slide area, you actually have to be a bit taller than you would think. Our five-year-old could not go on the slide. She is short. She's very short. So probably a normal five-year-old would be able to. Yeah. 
But if you have short kids, no. But I feel like that's kind of the bigger kid area. And on the left here, you'll this see is the baby, the, the top, like the, like baby, the baby area. area. So if your kid is not potty trained, this is the only place your child can hang if out. If they see them in a diaper or a swim diaper or anything like that, they're very good at telling you. You very can't be strict. in the pool. Mm -hmm. You have to go to one of these kid pools here. Yeah, even if your child is potty trained and is just super small and wearing a swim diaper, you can't be in any of the other pools. We know that because yeah. our 18 month old. Yeah, we can do a separate trained. video on all the kids stuff. We have a lot of footage of how the kids stuff works. So if you're interested in that, watch that. That's coming out soon. We'll link at the bottom Definitely. in the description. But it's a fun little um, baby area, definitely. And the kids area is super fun. Our kids loved splashing around in that, playing with all the water toys. And then they have the miniature chairs for the kids. It's so Oh yeah, cute. those little mini chairs. They yeah, love those. yeah it's, it's good for kids. So this area is kind of nice because there's actually quite a lot of shade. And if it's a day that's a, a little bit cooler, it actually can sometimes be a little bit too much shade. Yes, it is too much shade. And it feels a little bit colder, but... But it's nice because your babies won't get sunburned. Exactly. You don't have to be worried about like applying all that sunscreen. So I think it's a perfect spot for the yeah. babies, honestly. They knew what they were doing. Yeah, they really they, they really thought about it. So speeding past this, we're going towards the front of the ship now. There's some more hot tubs. The great thing about Royal Caribbean is um, a lot of places you will go to health clubs and kids are not allowed in hot tubs in health yeah. clubs, right? Or in the majority of places. But here on Royal Caribbean, the children are allowed in the hot tubs. So we got to spend a lot of time in the hot tubs that aren't too hot. They're and those hot tubs were the ones that hang, hung, hung over. Yes. Those were probably the best views of the hot tubs. Definitely. On the right. So this is a solarium. View. Adults only in the solarium. This is a solarium. great spot. I love this area. It's great. And if you want to go in here, but you have kids, you just drop them off at the Adventure mm -hmm. Club. And then you can join, uh, enjoy a nice time. So the first thing you'll see on your left is refreshments they'll have food here all the time you can have you can actually have breakfast here little pro tip if you want less of a crowd not too many people actually come here for breakfast you'll have yeah. probably the place to yourself and it won't be like so loud with children if yeah you're not into the it's basically stuff. the same breakfast as the wind jammer but um, definitely but quieter and a beautiful view well the wind jammer has a good view too yeah no the wind jammer's got a great view but this i feel like if you want a little more intimate quiet setting definitely um they got the full spread and of course, food is always incredible on this ship. Really, it's, yes. on, it's honestly awesome. All right, so now exiting the wind jammer and going back out to actually see what the solarium's about. Like I said, adults only, lots of lounge chairs, there's a few hot tubs, there's a cool down area, but really you come to the front of the ship here for the views. Yes, you come for the views, you come for, there's like a nice breeze coming through, which is nice, but yeah, as you can see, it's open at the top. You can mm -hmm. kind of see the reflection here. The top is actually kind of open. So there's slits here that allows, like you were saying, the, the, the breeze to come through, which feels mm -hmm. great. Oh, my, oh, these cabana chairs are great. Yeah, his family just like stayed in it the whole time. So a couple hot tubs here. The one thing they are lacking is a pool in the solarium. So there is no adult only pool. I think Allure had one. I don't know. Maybe it was. I, I think they definitely put revamping. one on Harmony. I think they're revamping something. Yeah. No, this is Harmony. Sorry, I meant Symphony. <laughs> I meant Symphony. I think Symphony is the newer one that, that um, just came out. Yeah. There we go. So those little um, green things are like kind of mist sprayers. You push a button and it sprays mist so you can cool off. I, they should have put a pool there, really. Yeah. They should have put like a pool because sometimes you get hot and it's like, I don't want to sit in a hot tub, mm -hmm. but I'm hot and I don't know all the way out. I just kind of want to stay in this area. This, this is actually probably the hottest area of the ship. Yeah. Second hot tub. Once again, more cabanas, more seating. This is just a great place to read a book. And relax. Relax. Honestly. It's no not, kids. It's never loud It's very here. quiet. Very yeah. zen here. Very zen. And if you really want to get a cool photo opportunity, this is, like I said, once again, the front of the ship. And you can go out here in this area and you can just overlook. I mean, you can't beat that. Oh, look at these views. I love it. <laughs> it's amazing. It's really windy, though. If you go out here, don't wear a hat. I think my dad lost his hat. Yeah. Yeah, it just flew right <laughs> off. So as you can see, my wind, and my the hair in my wind. The wind in my hair. There you go. That's the one. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah. So this is the lower level of the solarium. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty good size, honestly. It's, yeah, it's huge. Does it have three hot tubs? Is that how many? I don't know. I think or two or two. three. I think I, I think this might be the second one. Yeah, so three. One on the top mm -hmm. level and then two on the bottom level. No, four, I think. I don't know. Third. We can't remember. We just spent a lot of time in hot tubs, honestly. Yeah. Here's the other observation deck. This one's actually um, the one that has 
kind of a, a really cool feature in it. So you can see these guys are here taking a picture. But um, what you can see here is it's got like a glass bottom floor. I am terrified of heights. So yeah. if you walk out over here, you can actually walk on this glass platform and see the bottom. Again, can't beat these views. Gorgeous. Yeah, that little spiral thing that hung out, that's where the hot tub has that overview. Oh, there it is. So here we go. I'm walking out here. You did it. Good job. As you can see, I'm going slowly. I don't think I actually stepped over it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, good job. You did it. I'm proud of you. It's scary. Facing your fears. Yeah. They have that at the top of the abyss, though, too. Yeah, top it's of the abyss has that glass floor. floor. It just freaks me out every time. Yeah, it's kind of freaky. All right, so going back into the solarium. So passing the hot tub on the left. All right, so this is the right part of the solarium. And yeah, that's the second hot tub on the first level. So there must be four hot tubs. I don't know if there's one on the first level. I think there's... Yeah, there must be four hot no, tubs. No, I there. thought there was only three. Okay, so maybe two on the... Yep, two so on the top tier, one on the bottom. Two on the, the top bottom. tier, one on the bottom. Yeah. But then it has the two on the side. Like before you enter the solarium, they have the two hot tubs on the side. So a pro tip for those that have kids, um, the solarium is actually three floors above the kids zone area so if you're gonna be in the kids zone area it's a really convenient spot to kind it of come is. up and check with them definitely so they give you a little cell phone you can go down and check mm -hmm. towel area to drop your towels off pick new ones up yep uh, you can only have uh one towel out at a time per, per guest card. yeah and all you have to do is just return it by the end of your trip yeah so once again i mean look at this hot tub if you get up early i think i was i wasn't even that early this must be like seven o'clock oh i guess this one's closed but Normally, these ones don't have too many people in them, mm -hmm. and you can watch TV. They're open very late as well. Yeah, they're open very late. Yeah, I think there was a, what, the World Cup going on when we were on the cruise, or some sort no, of thing. No, it was some sort of sports event. We're not sports people. We're not, we're not sports people. But there was some big deal sports game going on, and people were very happy to watch in the hot tub. And, yeah. yep. and so as you can see here, we're wrapping up again to the area where the slides exit. So we made full circle. So now we'll come up on here to the very deck. top deck of the... Um, Harmony of the Seas. Yes, Harmony of the Seas. And like we mentioned earlier, this is the best ahem, tanning deck. So and this is right here, I think, for VIP left there. So it's actually one additional deck. It's smaller. Uh, yes. But that's if you. Um, I think you have to have, have enough a, points. Have or a suite. I think it's a spend suite. enough money <laughs> to do that. Yeah, we did not. Nope. So. But again, lots of seats. Never a shortage of seats here. This is actually one of my favorite spots to take a um, to take a picture. Yes. So like we, you know, before we went to dinner, because this is actually how you access the. Wind jammer, you can see up there, those are the windows for the wind jammer, mm -hmm. uh, circular windows. The wind jammer, by the way, is like the buffet where we always ate. Um, there's also fine dining, which a lot of people do. Uh, for our for our family, it just worked better to do the wind jammer. We have kids. We want, we want the flexibility. Yeah. We didn't want a rigid time. Yeah. And there was a lot of us too. Family yeah. reunion, you know? You can see the slides from here. So fun. Great thing about going on the slides, actually, that's probably one of the best views, is when you're up there on the slides waiting. Yes. It's, it's probably the highest point Definitely. that you can go. Definitely. So you'll see down there, that's the Central Park. And that little area that we just saw, um, they'll have Zumba there. They'll have sometimes live bands there. Lots of music. It's a lot of fun there, too. Making my way around the sun deck. Really got every inch of this ship. Yeah, it's quite the stretch, um, so sometimes when you're on the opposite end of the ship, you need to be, I don't know, I have horrible directions, so I would get lost, and my husband would be like, no, come on, it's this way, and I'd be like, are you sure? And he's like, don't doubt me. Yeah, I mean, just think about it, there's a left and a right side, you know, mm. they, they mirror each other quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the entrance to that the buffet, the Windjammer, that has foods for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. In that order, I guess. And um, the great thing is, if you have dietary preferences or restrictions, uh, this place is really accommodating. It's it's great. Um, we're vegetarian, so there was tons of vegetarian options, and even vegan options for yeah, you. Yeah, gluten free. They, yeah. They're very clear at labeling it. If you're you have celiac or you just like to eat gluten free for whatever reason. Um, they have those options, and 
and even low sugar desserts or no sugar desserts too. So what I love about this buffet is that there's a hand washing station. Yes. Everyone has to wash their hands. Everyone has to. With soap. I'm even washing my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Showing you guys being a good example here. Nice. Probably could wash a little bit longer. <laughs> which is just great. Yeah. You know, so everyone germs. starts with the clean, uh, clean hands. Yeah. And you have to do that. Mm-hmm. And so as you can see here, tons of food options. There's little um, sections, I guess, which is nice. It's not one long line. Yeah. They have cereal. If you have picky eaters, donuts, which is... Um, very American because apparently sugar for breakfast is okay. <laughs> um, they have fruit options, cold cut meats, yogurt. Um, they even have hot uh, breakfast, sausages. They have everything here at the Windjammer. So the nice thing is like, I mean, there's seating everywhere and you can just get an amazing view while you're eating. Yes. Just floor to ceiling windows. It's beautiful. And friendly staff. You guys, the staff <sighs> so is great. so friendly. And fruit. Oh my gosh. Just like unlimited amounts of fruit and it's all cut up for you. As you can see, they have high chairs everywhere. You just yep. ask someone to bring it and they'll set it up for they'll you. bring it right away. They have an egg station. I think there's like an omelet station. Mm -hmm. So you can get whatever type of egg you want. So you just literally have eggs and vegetables and you can, you can do it pretty healthy. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing with this cruise. If you're like worried about gaining weight. Oh, look at that view. How many of the seas? Yeah. And again, oh, we'll talk about that area later. Golf yeah. course. Uh, but yeah, if you're like worried of, oh shoot, I'm going to gain a bunch of weight, don't worry. Because you will. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> you, yeah, you might. But also, if you want healthy options, they have tons of healthy options. Yeah, you got seven days. Why don't you just enjoy it? Okay. They also have lots Diet of all year. unhealthy options that you can totally enjoy. The hash browns, so good. Yeah, we can't. The crepes with like that banana yeah, cream. Yeah, okay, definitely. Oh, and they have that like noodle station. If you see a noodle for station for dinner, oh my gosh, do that. But yeah, eat as many hash browns as you can get. If that's your thing. If, yeah, if you're into hash not browns. Not everyone likes hash browns. I guess. You must be weird if you're not into potatoes. So so depending on the time of the day, they'll close one side. But basically, mm -hmm. there's two exact sides like yes. that that mirror each other. Early in the morning, um, there's only typically one side. Because most people come later. So the elevators are great. There are so many elevators. And they have glass. You can see going yeah, down. completely glass. And they always have, what I love is the artwork they have in the atriums um, that, that kind of follow the elevator. So you can enjoy the art. Oh, what levels. I was going to say is what I love about the elevators is it always tells you what day of the week it is on the floor in oh, case yeah. you forget. <laughs> it's kind of great. I wish I just would have panned down a bit. I know. All right. So now we're at the Central Park level. I believe this is deck eight. Or seven uh, or six maybe six anyway <laughs> here's central park there's a little map so we get lost yes <laughs> so they have a restaurant here on central park and they also these are all live plants i think that's important to mention um they're living they aren't fake so it's it's a breath of fresh air so here's chops grill steakhouse you have to pay for that one so we've actually never been yeah we actually didn't pay for any of the places to eat but you know that's us yeah that's our thing. Yeah, we're... A little bit on the cheaper side. Hey, cheap. we have kids, you know. We got kids. Little kids, too. Um, there's a there's a vintage place, right, where you can get wine mm -hmm. as well. Mm-hmm, wine place. Again, not our thing, but we heard um, it's good. Italian restaurant as well, I yep. believe. Yep, a pay-for-one. Yep, bars. Ooh, and they have the moving bar, too. The tide bar, Raising Tide. Yep, Raising Tide. This is great. There's so many little alcoves you can kind of sit down, and you really feel like you can have a private moment here and Definitely. just kind of enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you kind of go through this alcove, you'll see the um, cafe. What is it called? I don't remember what it's called. Bistro cafe. But that one is uh, free or, you know, included. included. So you don't have to pay to eat there. Oh, we love sitting here in this oh, whole this area. This place is great. It really protects you from the wind. And but it heats up in yeah. the middle of the day. Park cafe. Yes. Here we go. Here it is. So here they have fruit to go if you want to grab a fruit cup and go. It's great right there. There's a lot of on the go stuff. I believe this mm -hmm. is the oatmeal. So for breakfast, lunch, dinner, they'll have, I don't know, yeah, even dinner. They'll have like sandwiches. I think more sandwiches, cafe stuff, you know? Yeah, cafe. You can get a panini. Um, what I love is you can make your own salad. Oh, the salads are great. They have they have salads ready to go, but they also have salads that you can make yourself. Mm -hmm. And they're all good, honestly. Yeah, it's a good place for breakfast if you're going on an excursion. You can stop by here real quick and eat something. Or grab some fruit to go. Yeah. There's the Italian place, Jamie's Italian. Yep. Jamie Oliver's place. Ah, uh, yes. He's famous. <laughs> I believe so. 
<laughs> oh, and the other thing about this place is there's like crazy shopping. If you're like want to buy yes. like a Cartier or like fancy watches, yes, fancy purses, shopping. definitely like, fancy shopping. I mean, we I didn't even go in there to look. I'm just like, can I even go in here? I yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm in my Royal Caribbean shirt. Oh, by the way, if you um, can tell, we're wearing our Royal Caribbean shirt. I believe they go on sale like the <laughs> f fifth day of the yes. cruise. So this is like. Our type of shopping yes. that we like to do. Ten dollar t-shirts. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, so that's um, the other edge of Park Cen Park Central. Is that what Central Park. Central Park. Park Maybe. Central's kind of an interesting flair on it. Yeah, and there's that wine shop I was telling you guys about. But overall, wonderful place just to stroll sit. and um, hang Enjoy. out, sit, and eat. Eat at the Park Cafe. It's great. Yeah, even if you're just going for like a tea or something or a coffee. Ah, or... yes. The tea selection is pretty yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Once again, going back to elevators and like I said, there's... There's elevators on both sides, like um, on the left and the right. So <laughs> lots of options. See, I was right. Eight. Oh, you were right. Good job. Good memory. And, and it really helps you see where you are with the different artworks. So you can know what side of the ship you're on and you'll, you'll get yes. the hang of it very quickly by saying, oh, this is that colorful art. And look, like Tess said, what day is it? Friday. Oh, that means it was almost done. Yeah. So sad. But yeah, they'll change that because you'll just lose track of the time and it's like, where did it go? Mm-hmm. So on the fifth floor, um, this is really where the, the entertainment area is, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah, so on the fifth floor is entertainment. This is where you have the Royal Theater. Um, the doors were closed. I would have gone in there and showed you, but basically that's where you'll see... The Broadway shows. The musicals, the, the dancing, musicals. Um, the night shows too. Oh, the night shows are fun. Comedians. Um, there's also a track here. Running track if you're into that. Again, not we our thing. Don't have the specs on how far it is, but <laughs> I, I mean, it better be a mile <laughs> We like the site. I did, I think went, I went running once, which is weird because I never go in my life. Yeah. <laughs> really cool pro tip though is if you kind of go on the track, I don't, I wish we could tell you exactly where it is, but I think it's um, definitely on the fifth floor. There's like a little alcove yes. that, that has some lounge chairs. It's and hardly very anyone private. is ever there. Um, really great place if you want to see the ship off on the first day because no one will see it. Yes. And um, basically we'll probably get the whole thing to yourself. I'm probably going to try to walk to it so I can show you guys it. So on, on these um, areas on the side, there's always going to be bathrooms. Yeah, that's good to know um, where the bathrooms are. So you don't have to go all the way back to your room to go to the bathroom. So floor five is also pretty cool because this is like the Royal Promenade. Mm -hmm. Promenade, promenade. It has pizza if so you want to eat. So that's the um, entertainment down there as well. Yes, if you go down Comedy there. Comedy club. That's also where you'll be taking a lot of the photos, right? Um, during the fancy. Yeah, mainly on this floor. Oh, no, on floor five. Floor five. Excuse me. So, bar, lounge, I they, think there's a dance salsa here yep, at night. Yep, they have dancing here at night. Fun, fun spot. Mm-hmm. It's nice. So, they got this rotating head art thing. It's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Kind of nice. There's also more shopping. This is where you can book your... Um, excursions. Excursions. So, you, if you can, if you didn't, forgot to book them, you can make the booking here, which is nice. It's convenient. Definitely. Very fast. Yep. This is on air bar. This is basically a sports bar where you can watch sports. Sports. <laughs> Again, we're not sports people. We didn't really spend time in this area. All right. So what else do we got here? There's lots of shopping on this floor. So there was some shopping yeah. on the, in the Central Park, but there's also and they'll always have here. deals here throughout the week. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, be like clothing on sales, area. watches. They kind of do like it's kind of like a mall area. Clothing yeah. sales. Mm -hmm. This is actually where we do practical shopping. I, I mean, think. it's crazy. It's it's a mall on this giant ship. What's crazy here is that they got this pub here. I mean, look at this place. It looks great. You want to feel like you're in Ireland? Just pop on in here. <laughs> grab a Guinness. Again, didn't spend much time in here, but it's good to show you. There are so many bars on this ship. Yeah. So if you got the drink package, you are going to get your money's worth. Yes, you definitely will. But coming up is my, one of my favorite places, Sorrento's. This place is great. Yeah, it's great because there's not much open when you first get onto the ship, right? But they have all the pizza you could want. I mean, well, I think I think it is open, but like, oh, this is. is like, this is right where you enter it's on right the ship. right where you get in. And you're usually pretty hungry. So you can come here, yeah. grab a slice of pizza. It's always warm. Warm pizza, freshly made. Yeah, and it's open until like, what time at night? 
pretty late. Like two in yeah. the morning. I was it like, anytime you want a really good pizza snack and it's just quick, you can yeah. just come down here and grab a snack. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think they even make your own pizza too if you want. But yeah. I mean, there's just we like the cheese ones. So here, drinks um, and little cafe. pastries. It's kind of like think of it like I mean, it's, there is a Starbucks on the ship, but this but is this kind of is like a Starbucks, like but the their Starbucks. the included <laughs> version, the free yeah. version. <laughs> So yeah, you get drinks, pastries, I mean, cinnamon rolls, cookies. Um, if they ever have cheesecake uh, available, you guys, get the cheesecake. I really like the cheesecake. Okay, I'm not even a fan of cheesecake. Like, really, I don't like cheesecake. This cheesecake is really delicious. Here's guest services. So you have any sort of problem with your room or... Mm -hmm. Need another key card or something. Um, also, when you want to finalize your bill, I believe, that's yeah. where you go. Um, so this was um, this really cool robotic bar. Oh, so yeah. like they have robots making drinks for you. Robotic bartenders. Yeah, the bionic bar. I think it's is what pretty they call neat. It. Yeah, you just put your drink selection in there and it'll fill it up. Um, I, I should have gotten a picture of this in action, but oh yeah, um, yeah, it just fills it up, shakes it, and you scan your card and it just slides the drink forward for you. It's so cool. Yeah, I'd be scared if I were a bartender on here. <laughs> All right, so that's really the Royal Promenade. And uh, now, like I said, we're walking towards the back of the ship. Mm -hmm. And um, this is where the eating venues are. So mm -hmm. there's three of them. Yeah. They all have different names. This is Silk, so you'll get assigned one. Yeah, you'll get assigned one, and you'll also get assigned a time, too. Yes. I think you can request it, but You they... can do flex time, but it's not always guaranteed that you'll have spots for exactly. you. Exactly. But you can have like either an early or late dining, and you'll have a guaranteed mm -hmm. spot. Uh, really, all the diners are the same. All the dinner areas. Yep. It's just the dec decor that changes. Mm -hmm. And they're beautiful. It's pretty fancy. They serve breakfast here a la carte. So menu, you order stuff. If yeah. That's, if that's kind of your thing, if you like ordering stuff. Yes. If you like menus and choosing things, then definitely do this. And it's just a fancier feel. I mean, yeah, like, you get the table service, you get the waiter experience. Yes, it's like a restaurant. It looks like it's a buffet. I think it's a buffet and you can order stuff as well. So they... Well, I think it's a buffet in the morning. Oh, okay. Just the morning is a buffet. But yeah, not a lot of people come here either. So another pro tip if you kind of want to avoid crowds yes. early on. I mean, I think towards the end of the ship people catch on, but um, great place to enjoy it. There's some great windows you can sit next to as well to get a view. Yeah, like I said, yeah. I mean, this is fancier than the, the wind jammer. I, I like the views better from the Windjammer, personally. You, but, you feel better. But like you said, it, it gets a little bit crowded at the Windjammer. Yeah. Um, if you go, if you go like, you go. if you go like at nine or ten, yeah, it's, like prime time. But if you're an early person or a late person, mm -hmm. you're probably going to benefit the most. Yes. But yeah, the decor is amazing. It's really nice chandeliers. Um, cool spot. And again, friendly staff. Super so wonderful. Friendly. They earn their tips for sure. Yes, definitely. I know the tipping might seem. Deep, like what you're recommended to pay you just budget it in yes just budget it in and then it's not like oh, this huge shock at the end yeah. um, and these people really do deserve the tips like they are so, so friendly. friendly especially the people who um, view your cabins oh yeah and definitely just so accommodating if you want to bring yeah. bills um, to tip your own people like you want that more personal experience go ahead so we're entering the casino now. So this is actually, we've, I, the only time I walked through it is actually for filming this. For you guys. <laughs> did this for you. Um, this is actually, I think, I know earlier we said there's only one place you can smoke. We like. You can smoke here. <laughs> yes. It's, so. a, it's like a heavy cloud of smoke as soon as you walk in. Yeah, it's overwhelming. Um, lots of, uh, we don't gamble. Yeah, we don't gamble typically. or smoke. So it's yeah. not really our place to hang out. <laughs> but um, I see people here all the time. Yes. Just sitting here. Pushing the button. Yeah, so if you're into pushing buttons, maybe spending money, maybe winning money, who knows? Hey, I believe they have like other games as well, like poker yeah. and craps and stuff. And mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, walking out here will actually end up um, where that comedy place is that we saw at the beginning. I didn't go down those stairs on floor five when we entered um, the promenade, but this is actually where it connects. So it's a web. But in my mind, I have a map of it, and you will too. <laughs> yes, by the end. <laughs> after watching this and after being on the ship. Yes. This is the second entrance casino we're on. Mm-hmm. Again, you can't you can't go in here if you're underage, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is where you'll have the comedy club and all the different venues, um, the jazz bar and things like that. Um, they they at this time I actually. Oh my god. They were selling artwork, which is nice, and it was Disney art. Not it's not a Disney cruise, but. Really fancy artwork. Looked really nice. Beautiful. Cool frames. 
yeah, I had to stop and look. I'm like, oh, wow, I wish I could have stayed and looked a little bit longer. Yeah, there's the jazz um, floor, comedy club. Is this where the ice skating rink is? I believe so. Yeah, so there's an ice skating rink on the ship, you, you guys. You go ice skating on a boat. Yeah, like in the Caribbean. How often do you get to say that? Yeah, and there's also a fantastic ice uh, show. I believe that's what yeah, Studio, Studio B is. B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Studio B. So they'll have other shows here and things like that, but the ice skating show is amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I liked it a lot. That was actually one of my favorites. Yeah, our kids liked it too. Yeah. They wanted to become ice skaters after we saw that. Yeah, as soon as you book your cruise, get reservations for stuff. You can always cancel them. You don't yes. have to show up. Just get reservations. Yes, reserve your times, plan yes. it out. Those get you booked won't up fast. You regret it either. Yeah. So those are those stairs I showed at the beginning, and as we come up here, it'll be full circle on the promenade. Mm -hmm. And here we are at the... Art dude. <laughs> All right, so if you go one level above the promenade, there's kind of some little balconies. I actually don't think it goes all the way around. No, it doesn't. But this is the photo studio. This is where if you took pictures or had people take pictures on you on the islands or on the ship, you can actually buy those pictures here, get them printed out, and mm -hmm. um, you just bring your card and scan it. And um, it's, it's kind of expensive. But I think there's like an unlimited option, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, I think it ends up, if you get like more than like a few pictures, it's worth it. Yeah, um, so definitely check out what the options are at the beginning so you can see if that's worth it. This is the schooner bar. And this is where they have trivia. Yes, we love this spot. fun. It's fun doing the trivia questions yeah. and you have prizes and stuff. Definitely try out the trivia. Yeah, and it's again just another neat area to sit down, kind of like an old yeah, schooner mm -hmm. bar. And live piano at times. Yep. During the day. And as you can see, it ends here, I believe. Yeah. I don't think it goes all the way around. No, these places don't go all the way around. But I mean, you just don't feel like you're on a ship sitting here. No. This is just... Not at all. It's amazing. And the ship is so big that you rarely feel it uh, moving sideways. There are times, though, that you will feel it slightly. Yes. It's very slight. It's very slight and rare. Yeah, but for the most part, my mom will get seasick to do. Eh, well, I mean, she, she got a little dizzy sometimes, but... She had her magical ginger water, though. Yeah, she drank ginger water <laughs> all the time. All right, so now, towards the back of the oh, ship... Oh, this is our kids' favorite spot, the boardwalk. I think they asked, like, a um, few times a day to go to the boardwalk. And here, you're going to have lots of things. You're going to have, um, well, Zotar, of course. You get your fortune told by Zotar. Yeah. Definitely check him out. It's like a dollar. <laughs> yeah, fortune on the right. There's you got Starbucks. Starbucks, and then there's hot dogs. Um, here they have a couple different kinds of hot dogs. Kids liked them. We we don't eat them. Yeah, but, but our son loves hot our dogs. Our son, yeah, he's, he eats hot he's not a vegetarian. Crazy. He. This is great. So this is uh, I won't say free, but it's included. So you don't have to pay anything to use this carousel, which is. Awesome because carousels always cost like two or dollars or five dollars. There's a huge line for it. Either. No, never a line for Kids it. Kids just go on and on. The great thing is they actually clean it very often. They'll yes. stop it and they'll clean it. Mm -hmm. so, Sanitize it completely. Yeah. And also, this is where you come out of the abyss. Ah, this one is the Johnny Rockets. Johnny Rockets. You actually have to pay for this except in the morning. Pro tip. Another yeah. pro tip. Yeah. So if you go there in the morning, you can get an omelet and... Yep. And think, there's a menu. Yeah, there's so a menu. So that was Sabor on the right. That's the Mexican shop that's See, also not included. Not included. It's extra. Um, so this is actually pretty fun for the kids. Yes, our they, kids loved climbing on this. You can yeah. go all the way up. It seems kind of crazy, but it's actually very secure. Yeah, it's like definitely a mat. Secure. They're not going to fall and off. safe, yeah. But it's just a fun little kind of track or obstacle course for them. Mm-hmm. <gasps> This is my favorite place. This the is where theater. they have the aqua theater. This really is the best show, I it, think. I think yeah, it is. I think, I think it's the best one. Yeah. Um, they'll have people diving off the high parts of it. It's like a water show. Yeah. It's like yeah. a water aquatics, tight, right, mm -hmm. tight rope. Oh, and there's the rock climbing, too, which is really fun. That was fun. I yeah. love the rock climbing. Definitely go rock climbing, you guys. Just I mean, do it. Just get some shoes. How often can you go rock climbing on a boat? <laughs> and, and, you know, if you don't make it up all the way, that's fine. You know, no no judgment. I, I didn't. I made yep. a boat. I didn't make it I up. did. Because <laughs> well, I'm so you. strong. You're so strong. So that's the zip line. So you'll see people just, you know, throughout the day, just zip lining on through. Mm -hmm. This is where the abyss ends up. So yep. after doing the abyss, you can grab a hot dog or something. And you can actually see pictures of yourself on the other side of the abyss. Yes, they have one of those cameras. They can see you yelling. 
Yeah. But really, um, we've taken you through the entire um, deck of the ship, and um, that's really the last part. Yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know in the comments. If you like it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, yeah, let us know what you think, and we hope you enjoyed this awesome tour of Harmony of the Seas. All right, bye.